Welcome back, you jive turkeys. We're here today to talk about the Jacksonville Jaguars and how they beat themselves. Okay? A lot of people don't would not think that. They would be like, oh, they didn't beat themselves. The Kansas City Chiefs, Chiefs just beat them. Well, no. They won the turnover battle. And they won it early. With, two inter with an interception, two forced fumbles. I mean, they played lights out on the defensive side. If you like this content, please like the content. If you like the content, subscribe to the content and leave us a comment below. So when we look at the whole body of work and what happened to the Jaguars yesterday at Arrowhead Stadium is that the defense got tired. I mean, they did. The defense got tired. I mean, you can't let your defense play majority of the game and think it's going to hold up to Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey and his team there. I think when we look at Trevor Lawrence, Trevor Lawrence played very well again this past week. I mean, zero interceptions, zero, which is great to hear. Um, you know, not like uh, Josh Allen that leads the uh, league in uh, interceptions right now this year. So if we look at um, Trevor Lawrence and we look at how what I think it isn't being talked about, which is Zay Jones. Zay Jones played amazing this week, and I think he's probably one of the underestimated players that Jacksonville picked up uh, next to Christian Kirk. Christian Kirk is balling out. I mean, that guy is playing. I mean, which is great. So, which for me is super excited to see that when Calvin Ridley shows up next season, uh, how that dynamic's really going to change between Christian Kirk, Zay Jones, and now you got Calvin Ridley, and even Evan Ingram, which is a great tight end that, that obviously scored but got called back, obviously because the whole because uh, of the uh, ineligible player downfield. So I think, in all honesty, I mean we had early in the game an opportunity to win. We did, and we just found our way. And our and our schedule doesn't get any easier. We played. Baltimore next week so with uh what the key takeaways from the game were were win uh winning the turnover battle which is what we did um not throwing any interceptions not giving the uh the Chiefs any extra possessions I mean we played well two phases out of three um I think our kicker you know left some points on the field um some penalties cost us some points, but uh, let's be real. Let's uh, let's see how we shape things up throughout the week, and uh, and, and let's see how Jacksonville responds to his loss to to go ahead and um, play against Baltimore. If you like this com uh, content, please uh, like, subscribe, and uh, share with your friends, and uh, let's uh, make a difference.